Hi, Mal Pals and New Pals. Today's video is going to be all about my favorite powders for dry skin. Since I'm doing foundations, concealers, this is something I would wanna know if I hadn't used these powders before. So I hope this is helpful. I've broken them down into categories of face powders, multi-use powders, and under eye brightening and baking powders if you are into that sort of thing. I have dry, sensitive, breakout prone skin. So none of these powders irritate my extremely sensitive skin. They don't break me out. It's a lovely time. All of these powders do not enhance my dryness. They do not pick up on my foundation. And by that, I mean once I've set my face, I don't see the powder kind of almost gathering the actual foundation around my dry patches and also they help minimize my pores, which is something great if you have larger pores. Once again, filming with self-tan on. So I know that this doesn't match this. So let's get into the all over face powders. These are incredible for setting any type of foundation. Also using before you put your foundation on if you are into that TikTok hack, which I am still doing, still using, still loving. This is a powder that I have repurchased over the years. It has just been a staple for me. The Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. Now I started using this, I don't know, five years ago and I really, really love setting my entire face with this. And because I am somebody who layers on a lot of concealer, I do have to apply a powder over my concealer after this, but we'll get into that here in a second. Cause I don't just use one powder and then I'm done. So <laughs> but if you're somebody who doesn't need all of that and you're really looking for something that's going to make your skin look hydrated, not necessarily too glowy. It's not gonna give you like a highlighted look and I love setting all foundations, tinted uh, moisturizers with this powder. It is an incredible product, but I'm usually in the shade one or two. If I would self tanning or in the summer, I usually wear shade two for all over my face and shade one for my winter skin. And also if you have blemishes this and you need to conceal them, this glides over them really nicely. You're not gonna get that cakey powder effect, you know? Now next is a powder that I have been using, I don't know, for the past year or so. Maybe you're familiar with this brand, maybe not, but it is an incredible brand. They have incredible products that I feel like are not talked about enough. It is Decorte. This powder, I've talked about this on my channel before. It is incredible for dry skin all over the face. And this is translucent and I love the way it just makes my face look. It's not gonna give you like a dewy look. It gives you more of like a natural finish, but it really just, like once you apply your foundation and concealer and then you set that with this powder, you just look like you have silk, like a silk mist over your face. Decorte, look them up. This powder I have a love-hate relationship with. For one, it's $100. For two, it's $100. And for three, it's in bulky glass packaging. So even though I love the way it makes my skin look and feel, and I love the way it sets my foundation, I hate traveling with it. So if I have like an event or somewhere I want to, you know, like a vacation where I want to look my best, I would bring the La Mer Loose Powder, but it's so heavy and bulky, it's really hard to fit into uh, my makeup organizer. Love-hate relationship, it does make your skin just look like perfection, okay? Like they're like full lawless. I love that about this powder. What I do not like about this powder is it does end up making you half a shade darker than the foundation you're wearing or the concealer. Cause I used to really like to bake with this. And then as I went along, I was like, huh, why do my under eyes look a little darker, huh? You know, cause I want that brightened if I'm baking. And uh, I don't know if it makes your makeup oxidized. I am not a scientist, I'm just telling you. So if you want to wear this beautiful powder that does look amazing, you're gonna have to kind of edit the shades on your skin that you're going to wear. Say, having saying that, it sounds like I'm like hating on it, but I'm not. I really love it. It's just, you have to alter what you're applying that day. But if you do, Girl, you're gonna be looking like a porcelain doll. Okay, so now let's get into my two favorite powders for multi-use. So all over the face and under the eyes. Like I can apply these powders all over my face, set my face, and then I can also bake with them or not bake with them. This is not gonna be any type of surprise. The Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. I love this stuff. It is so good. It is just as good as the La Mer powder, to be honest. What I do love about this is it doesn't make my makeup end up looking darker or it doesn't make my under eyes look darker so I can bake and look, 
you know, just like, woohoo, that is beautiful skin and not have this turn my concealer a shade half a shade darker. So I love this. You guys know I love this. I've raved about this. I wore this on Glam Masters. It got me through 16 to 18 hour days of filming. I am telling you right now, this powder is heaven sent. So this I love to bring with me when I travel because I know I can set my entire face and under my eyes and look ready to go. So love the Laura Mercier Loose Powder. Now the next powder is new to me. I talked about this in my recent using new makeup video and have absolutely fallen in love with this powder. This is the Ciate Everyday Vacay Powder. This I have been putting on, you know, to set my moisturizer, setting spray, the, the TikTok hack. I should actually call it the makeup artist hack because apparently makeup artists have been doing that forever. I love this powder for that. I have been using it every day since Literally, I have not used another powder to do my face routine since I did the, why am I talking like this? Let's get a little more coffee. What I really like to do is use the Olimar Brightening Brush to set underneath my eyes. So I will go ahead and set underneath my eyes even though I have done the TikTok hat. And this powder just, it brightens without making my under eyes look too white, which you guys know, I have said it before, I love a bright under eye, like probably too bright, like probably unacceptable, but it makes me happy. Now let's talk about under eye powders, like just solely what I like for under the eye to brighten up. These two powders I have used for years now. If you don't like a brighter under eye, these may not be for you because they both really brighten everything up. So the first one is, the Laura Mercier Under Eye Brightening Secret, isn't it? Secret Brightening Powder. This is incredible and if I can find it, I have the brush that you use with this. Oh my gosh, I need to reorganize everything. What a shock. I swear, it goes on for like, like I reorganize and I feel great for a month and then next thing I know, I'm right back to square one. But I do, I've used it with this brush because I don't know where the other one is. <laughs> This is one that you just kind of lay on and pack and you can bake with this. I have baked with this and it really gives you a good brightening under eye. It looks like you've gotten like under eye filler just because it like makes everything just look so bright. You can go light with this and look normal or you can go crazy like me and do just a full, been in a tanning bed, just bright under eye. Last but not least is a powder that I started using for all over my face and then I noticed it kind of lightened some foundations that I would use with it. So I started using this and I actually used up my full size one. So I have my travel size one here. I started baking with this and I love this for baking. This is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder, just the translucent one. This is incredible. So if you don't, it's like a, um, if you use it just for your under eyes, which is how I like to use it, this is like a toned down sister of the Secret Brightening Powder. So if you're wanting something that's not too brightening, but still gives you that like bang for your buck, here you go. Also really love for all over my face, the shade Cool Beige. When I'm tanned, I love that shade for all over my face. Translucent one here does lighten some formulas up, that's all I'm gonna say. So those are my favorite powders for dry skin, for, un you know, cause I'm even un dry under my eye, and I meant to say that the under eye powders that I have recommended do not give you that weird, like, crepiness. You know, of course I have, like, fine lines and wrinkles. I'm 31, still, every time I say that is, doesn't, create or cause any more issues underneath the eyes. You know, you're gonna have movement with these powders. Your under eyes are gonna be able to move and I can smile and have my fine line. They're not enhanced and they don't stay. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried any of these powders, what your favorite powders are for dry skin because not all powders are created equally for dry skin. There's a lot of powders out there that I have tried that people have loved and I just can't use them. All right, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one, goodbye. Oh, I've had a hair there the whole time. Okay.